I am at Kadok's Filipino Cuisine in Daly City, home of the best grilled peri peri chicken and pork chop. I'm gonna be trying some Filipino food I've never had before. Sarap all the time. Special ube halo halo. I don't know what any of that is. I'm so excited. I'm starving. Let's go. So, Gadox is a family owned Filipino restaurant owned by my friend's parents. I was invited to try all of their Filipino food. I'm sitting and I'm waiting for my food. I don't even know what I'm getting. I just asked them to give me whatever. Look at this! It's a Filipino feast! I am so lucky to be trying all of this food. Oh man! I am so excited. My body is ready. I recognize lumpia and like garlic rice and that's pretty much it. This is gonna be like my first time trying pretty much everything here. So I'm told that I should try this soup first. What is this soup called? That's special mommy. That is a combination of beef, chicken, shrimp, and fish bowl. Oh, okay. It's like all meat inside. It's like a chicken noodle soup. That's really good. It kind of reminds me of that um, Indomie noodles <laughs> flavor. And it pairs with the shopao, which is a pork bun right Oh, what? You eat it together? Okay. Mmm. Oh, this is like a peppery sauce. This reminds me of like a Chinese pork bun. This soup is so good. It has like a lot more depth of flavor than like a regular chicken soup. But I don't understand how this matches with a pork bun. <laughs> If I had to rank it on the tier list, I would give it S tier. It is pretty much my favorite thing. I would eat this like every day. So that one is the lechong kowali silog. It is deep fried pork belly and garlic rice. Lechong kowali silog. I'm told I have to use my hands with this. I don't even know what sauce this is. I'll see. Mmm. It tastes like a vinaigrette, <laughs> like Italian uh, dressing. <laughs> I've never had that with pork. It's pretty good. Very fatty because it's pork belly. Mmm. 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 That's some good rice. Pretty garlicky actually. That's so good. I like the textures. It's like crunchy and crispy. It reminds me of something like Filipino soul food or something. It may be not like super good for you, but it tastes so good. I would give it like an A tier. I'm gonna try this. Pork barbecue. It looks so good. It tastes like the teriyaki beef jerky. It's like sweet and real good. I feel like everything else was more special than this, so that's why I would say this is more like, I would say, B tier. If I had to choose, I would still choose the soup over everything. Okay, let me try the next thing. What is tocino? Uh, tocino with sweet red pork, fish, that's bongos, sausages, and longanisa, that's tapa, that's meat. Oh, and you're supposed to dip it in this vinegar sauce? Mmm, this fish is really good. It's very mild. It's kind of chickeny. It's like a meaty fish. More garlic rice. Mmm, it's really good. It's really sweet. It's like candied pork. It's a little bit different from like char siu, like the Chinese. Uh, barbecue pork. I'll try the beef. <laughs> this is not my favorite one. This one for sure tastes like beef jerky. Let me try it. It's definitely like dry and beef jerky like. <laughs> okay, let me try the sausage. Mmm. A little bit peppery, a little bit sweet, and like smoky. Smoky flavor. I like the fish the most, and then I like this pork one, and the pork sausage, and then the beef. I would also say this is like B tier, and I think all of it pairs so well with the egg and the rice, the sea log. I have to save room because we have so much more to eat still. Ta da! Okay. I don't even know what these are. This is lopia, which is pork, right? I think. That's lopia Shanghai, which is pork, and then. What makes this Shanghai? That's the name. <laughs> I've had lupia before, so we'll see. It's good. It's like a spring roll or egg roll, I think. I've had it like lots of potlucks. They have that all the time. This is fish, right? That's fish ball. I think I've had this one too before. It is very fishy. <laughs> it kind of tastes like like squid balls or like octopus balls kind of thing. Okay, let me try the next one. Lumpia gulai, which is vegetable roll. Tastes like they're like stir-fried vegetables, like cabbage. So good. Mm. I would give these ones like B tier. It's very similar to like Chinese food. I'll try these. Ji Shao Wan. It's like pork rinds, right? Mm -hmm. Believe it or not, I've never had pork rinds before. 
does have like a pretty strong pork flavor. I don't know, maybe it's just I've never had pork rinds before. It has like a little bit like cardboard flavor. <laughs> I feel like this just adds so much texture to like all the rest of the food whatever you eat. I'm getting kind of full. That one is beef lettuce. It's like a beef stew. This looks really good. It's mainly just beef. It literally is beef stew. It has like more of like an onion, like green onion flavor to it. The other one it is scotteretto camping, which is a goat. Goat stew here. Let's try that out. Pretty good. It's spicier. It is tomatoey. I have a little bit more gamey taste than the beef one. I see you. <laughs> I'm just rating it based off of which one would I order again. I think I like the goat one more than the beef one. I think it's more special. It has like a lot more flavoring. I'd probably give it a B. I would order other things first. <laughs> the final entree food, peri peri grilled chicken. And this is like, this is not garlic rice. Java rice. Java rice. And then there's some kind of white sauce here. Tomb dip. That tomb is like garlic. Very good. The rice. the rice has cumin in it for sure. It tastes like cumin rice. It adds a lot of flavor to everything. So the chicken tastes like in Hawaii, we have something like huli huli chicken. It reminds me of that. It's like very slightly sweet. You dip it in uh, tum, which is like a garlic, yeah, lemony garlic sauce. It tastes really good together. It makes the chicken like really garlicky and lemony. I would give this one S tier, but behind the soup. <laughs> of everything we ate, this soup is just so good. For dessert, I got an ube halo halo. I've never had this before. I was given a long spoon. That purple stuff is ube, I'm guessing. There's like ice cream on the top? That one is flat. Oh, flan. It looks like tofu. <laughs> it's like this tofu inside. And then there's like beans inside and like jellies. Oh. Halo halo means mix, mix. So you just mix it together. Oh. It's so good. <laughs> it's so coconutty. How do you explain ube? Like a custardy flavor to it. God, there's ice in it. The jelly at the bottom. It's like a thick jelly. It tastes really good. It has like a really strong flavor. I think the beans are like sweet beans, right? Would I eat this again? Yes. I give it like, um, if I had to rank it, it's between S tier and A tier. It's really good. Wow, what a Filipino feast we had. Oh, my tummy is so happy and full. Everything was so delicious. I grew up in Hawaii and Hawaii has a lot of Filipino people and a lot of Filipino influence, but I somehow had not tried a lot of stuff. The only other Filipino thing that I can remember is when I was interning, a Filipino person was like, I'm gonna make you a dessert and I thought it would look like the grossest thing I ever saw. <laughs> they just took a cup and they took like um, an old avocado and they threw it in the cup and then poured milk over it and then put some sugar in and smashed it up and I was like, whoa! <laughs> and, then was, and then I just try it and I was like, oh gosh. And then I like took a scoop and it's like, you know, green and like milk in it. <laughs> No, the avocado is kind of brownish too. So I was like, whoa! And I was like, I don't want to throw up. And then I tried it and I was like, this tastes really good. <laughs> so that was like my only other Filipino like experience that I've had. We want to thank Kadoks for having me. Oh, I'm gonna go into a food coma. But before I do, I guess we should start the vlog. morning walk. It is getting so cold outside. November is just flying by. Gatsby and I have been so busy shipping out all of your orders. Thank you so much again. As you can see, we're still shipping out everything. A few days ago, he did have an accident. He just started chewing on one of his toys and he ate a piece of the rubber toy. I immediately like took the toy away and we threw it away. However, while I was at the gym the other day, he had diarrhea all over the carpet. And of course he pooped out that little piece of rubber, so that was good. Ready, go! 
Not only did he have diarrhea all over the carpet in multiple places, but then the robot vacuum cleaner came and spread it over all the carpet. Yuck. I had to like clean the robot vacuum cleaner. I replaced the filters and the roller and everything. It was a pretty stressful day because I was really busy that day, but I really had to just stop everything <laughs> just to fully get everything out and like smell and everything. And then I had to clean the carpet, which took multiple cleanings. And thankfully it did come out. The smell went away. Other than that though, Gatsby's doing well. Like after he pooped out the piece, he seems to be doing fine. Gatsby. Don't eat your toys like that, sir. That was not fun to clean at all. <laughs> I'm glad you feel better though. It's time for me to give you another behind the scenes look at another photo from our 2025 calendar. We worked so hard on so many of these photos and I really appreciate how all of you are so interested in the behind the scenes shoot for this. Today I thought I would share with you March's photo. Every year in the calendar, I like to do a photo with Gatsby and his toys. I always try to think of something that's like creative, and different. It's something that you haven't seen in a calendar before. We shot it at my house and it was just like such a fun shoot to do. We first got Gatsby shot. We placed Gatsby in the center, got him to jump on his hind legs. It is a little bit tricky because he has to have his body correct, his eyeline has to be correct, and he has to be smiling. After we got them, we were happy with it. Then it was time for me to grab all of his toys and make it look like they're dancing with him. I basically played the puppet master. I used strings and shish kebab sticks, and I basically held each toy up one by one, and we just kind of like worked together to get it look like they're all dancing together. And yeah, that's how we shot it. Here's the final result. Ta-da! Ooh, yeah! <laughs> this one is so fun. Kind of reminds me of the Hokey Pokey. I'm so happy with how it turned out. It just has such a happy, imaginative feel. Anyway, that is the behind the scenes look at March's photo for our 2025 calendar, make sure to grab one at CorgiOnFleet.com. It makes a great Christmas gift. In the meantime, I might as well continue shipping our orders out. The most of our new calendar that anyone has ordered is 10. For our Christmas hats, the most someone ordered is 7. And the most Christmas sweaters anybody ordered in one order is also 7. Gina from Massachusetts made a pretty big order. Christmas sweater, a signed calendar, signed by me and by Gatsby with his potograph. The one that I'm wearing here. The Corgi Kraken shirt. There's only like five available. The puzzle, the fruit fantasy puzzle. Check it out. This is my closet here with all of our stuff. We have some 500 piece puzzles here. They make great gifts. They're really fun. This one is the thousand piece puzzle she ordered. Ta-da! Okay. So she ordered all of these really cool ornaments here. And that's her order. She did it. Thank you so much, Gina. Your order is now on its way. Woo! Is my beanie on? We're getting ready to head over to the park. I think someone's ready to go. Are you ready to go? Oh. C-O-R-G-I-D-O You can be my Corgido I gotta wipe your feet She's asking you for the password Do you have it? Gatsby Do you have the password? <laughs> so cute, okay, you can go Gatsby is helping me ship out our Ray of Sunshine letters Our monthly letter Thank you so much to everyone who has subscribed. I wrote out a new letter over here. This is our November letter. I'm really proud of it and how it turned out. I was looking at where all of our Ray of Sunshine Club members are from. We have 
some from Australia, we have one from Hungary, Ireland, one from Italy, three from Japan, Singapore, Slovenia, Switzerland, and United Kingdom, along with the United States, of course. So that's really cool. So for those of you wondering, our Rev Sunshine Club is basically like our Patreon, but you get a lot of better benefits, and I ship everything out myself. You also, if it's your birthday, you get a birthday card. You can get free domestic shipping for all of your orders from our shop for the Christmas time. Perfect, right? Yeah, what a great benefit. You get a monthly personalized shipping code to use. You also get ukulele song, Polaroid pictures of us. You get a signed birthday card. So, yeah. Turns out it's Brendan's birthday today, so I'm gonna write him a birthday card. Thank you so much, Gatsby. Hey. Photos, free shipping code. Are you gonna link his envelope? <laughs> Brandon, you got a kiss from Gatsby on your envelope. So that is our Ray of Sunshine Club. If you wanna join and support Gatsby and me, especially with his upcoming CT scans, go to corgionfleet.com the end of the video and you can sign up and get a monthly Ray of Sunshine. It's like a small little way of like brightening your month. Yeah, it's like a Corgi care package. Guess what? It's time for us to hit the gym. We gotta get a good workout in because we're gonna be eating so much food later in the day, which you probably already saw. See you guys inside. Ready, set, good boy. Right now, I am starving. I did not eat lunch. I'm getting ready to head over to Kadox and have all the Filipino food, which I already played for you guys, but I haven't tried it yet. No spoilers, please. Go. Are any of you Filipino? You are, let me know in the comments. What is your favorite Filipino food? I am so excited, my body is ready. So I'm gonna head over there in a few minutes and eat some food and I'll see you guys afterwards. We're back home. Hi Gatsby. I am so full. That food made me like so sleepy. But you know, the night is still young. We still have a lot to do. I'm at the grocery store right now. I'm picking up some brownie mix from Ghirardelli. It's my neighbor's birthday and I thought I would make her brownies because I also want brownies. <laughs> I haven't had brownies in a while. Let's try it out. Here is the brownie mix. So I watched a video on YouTube. I was inspired. These pastry chefs tried 50 different brownie mix recipes. They did it blindly, they did not know which one was which. Individually, they all chose this one as the best brownies out of all 50. Ghirardelli dark chocolate one. I don't think I've had these before, I would try it. It didn't make sense to buy one. It was like one for $6 or both for $7. So who wouldn't buy two? Step one, preheat oven to 325 degrees. Prepare baking pan by lightly greasing it. Ta -da! Step two, place water, oil, and egg in medium bowl and add brownie mix and stir until well blended. So these little lumps that are there, I think those are chocolate chips, those aren't lumps. Spread in prepared pan. Okay. And then finally step three, bake as directed. 40 to 45 minutes, that's actually pretty long. But that's because we're setting the oven to 325 which is very low. There's chocolate chips inside. If you bake it for too strong of a temperature, the chocolate chips will melt. Ooh. Look at that corgi. Hello. Okay, it has cooled down. Now it is time for me to taste test these brownies. I am ready to try the best box mix brownie ever. It does look fudgy on the inside and crispy on the outside. Oh look, there's a chocolate chip there. Okay. That is really good. I can taste the chocolate chips. It makes it like extra rich. I don't think I've had dark chocolate brownies before. It's different, it's not very sweet, which is good. I like it. I would give it like eight and a half out of 10. I'm gonna cut it up a little bit and then give them to my neighbor. Hi. Uh, happy birthday. Hi. Oh my God. There you go. Here, this is, I just baked oh it right now. You baked it? Wait, you're so no, tiny. No, it just fell in my Oh no, that's so good. Well, that was a success. I am still so full of Filipino food. Filipino food is kind of like comfort food. It tastes so good. I'm so glad I got to try it out. Yay! Okay. Ah! Uh... Yes, but you look so good. 
Yeah? Okay. Other than that, we're gonna head to bed. We've just been so busy with all the merchandise launch, but we are catching up on all of the shipping orders. So I, I wanna just thank you guys so much for showing so much support for Gatsby and me. If you wanna get some merchandise, make sure to go to koryonfleek.com. I wanna wish all of our November birthdays in a ray of sunshine club a happy birthday. And we'll see you guys in the next video. Good night. I thought I would give you an update on Gatsby's recent trip to the UC Davis Oncology team. There's some good news, but this